Which is quickest in a drag race? A Lucid Air Dream Performance or a BMW M3 that's been tuned? We're gonna find out because we're gonna race them over the standing quarter mile because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. So let me tell you about this BMW M3. The car has a three litre twin turbo straight six and a standard it puts out 510 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. But this one has been tuned by Tom Wrigley Performance. He's added some bolt on bits such as downpipes and injectors and a remap. The result is 750 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. We've got the same eight speed automatic gearbox with launch control and X drive all wheel drive. This car weighs in at 1.7 tonnes and it costs normally £84,000, but the upgrades are a further £8,000. Are they worth it? We're going to find out. That Lucid Air, that's got two electric motors, which combined put out an incredible 1,111 horsepower. What's more, it's got 1,390 newton metres of torque. It's quite heavy though compared to this BMW. It weighs in at 2.4 tonnes. It's also extremely expensive more than twice the price of this it costs over one hundred and ninety thousand pounds now we've got a priceless guy driving it it is of course yanni hello yanni how are you i'm cool i'm in a really weird car looks weird the interior is weird the dashboard is weird just everything's weird if i told you that car cost one hundred and ninety thousand pounds would you believe it no like mate, even, do you know what the roof's glass and you've got the sun visors stuck to the glass this is like 19 grand i know what you mean about that i think you should be able to remove those sun visors because then it would be cool with that full stretch windscreen that comes up over your head a bit like a fighter jet canopy this is weird. This reminds me, you know, like in Tom Hanks Big, where he becomes the kid and they go and he starts playing with all the toys. That's what I'm doing. I'm just like, just playing with things in here. I don't get this car. Like, and you're in a BM. I should be driving that car. That's more suited to me. Lowered wheels, nice color. This is a bit of you, weird. Maybe you won't find it so weird when you launch it because that thing is so quick. It's got 1,111 horsepower. Okay, so really then, what's yours? Like 600 brake horsepower. You've got no chance. And what's the point? I've got 750, but it's a BMW. We know they're quick and this one's been tuned, so it's going to be quicker than standard. I think this is going to be closer than you think and I might even beat you. Though, you know what, electric, cars are like at launching pretty blooming good no chance if i'm 1100 and you're 750 and it's a bmw with the issues with the launch control you haven't got a hope i'm going to be long gone i'm not so sure now if you like these kind of weird matchup drag race videos make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on that way you won't miss a single upload let's do this but before we race we're going to do the customary car wise sound check and i'm going to rev up this bmw are you ready for the sound check yanni all right, one nil to you. <laughs> we haven't even heard it yet. We know it's going to win, and I think it's going to sound good because it's got an rated exhaust. But let's have a listen to this BMW. I'm so going to miss this when everything goes electric, aren't you? Yeah, that sounds good. It does sound really nice, but it's not how loud it is, mate. It's how fast it goes. So good. I like the sound of this. Now, if you're thinking about changing your car, you can do the whole process through CarWow. Not only can you buy your next car through CarWow, you can sell your current car through CarWow as well. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Then you just choose the highest offer. They'll come to your house, take the car away, put the money into your account. It is so easy. If you want to do that now, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, simply Google help me car wow and we will help you change your car find a great deal on your next car and get a great deal on your current car that you're selling now let's finally get on with this race and let's see if yanni is right whether i am fighting a losing battle or not i think not matt do i need to know anything do i need to turn anything on or anything just turn yourself on yanni <laughs> shouldn't have done that should i <laughs> bmw launch control is actually working this time No way! <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. I mean, this is bonkers. Right, was my start okay? Was it premature? I don't know. 
I'm disappointed. When you're telling me this 1100 brake horsepower, it was slow and your car launched like it was a Porsche rather than a BMW. Do you know what? I want you to look at your car's buttons and find something that says ESC. For the stability control. You need to turn that off. I think it's hidden in one of the menus. Because if that starts to slip at all, then it just cuts the power from the motor. You don't notice it doing that. That's just how electric cars operate, but it will make it slower than it should be. I've got lucid stability control, which is off. No. I've got partial, I've got full, but this was just off. Is that what you're talking about? That is what I'm talking about. And um, I have no reason or excuse then. Let's just race again, see if you can do a better job. Did a better launch. Oh, here he comes! Oh! Oh my god, come on! Oh! What happened there? Oh, Yanni, that was super close. And it was even close for that hair that was in the middle of the runway just between our two cars. What happened there? Was my car extra quick or was yours slow? That was weird. That wasn't weird. Your car went as it was supposed to go and this went as it was supposed to go. But I won. Yeah, by a hair's whisker. So then what exactly happened? Well, both the tuned BMW and the Lucid did the standing quarter mile in 10.2 seconds. However, the BMW actually crossed the line first. Okay, now we're going to have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. I'm going to start in second gear. Obviously, the Lucid has no gears. Race to the half mile. Three, two, one, go. I mean, he's just shot off. Can I catch him up? Now we're cooking. Oh, he's gone. Oh man, you completely dicked on me there. Yeah, this was flying. And then when I hit 168 mile an hour, that was my lot. It's quite a lot though, right? 168 and you got there pretty blooming quickly. Yeah, but it was just weird because I was thinking, okay, here we go and we're flying. It just went, ooh, and just held me at 168. Odd number, but there you go. Let's do something a little bit different. Okay, same thing again. But this time I'm gonna start from 50 miles an hour and I'll be in third gear. Three, two, one, go. It's closer now. Come on! His mouth's like this. That lucid is gapping me. Oh, Yanni, that is insane. Normally, electric cars, they get slower the faster you go, whereas that seems to get quicker. Yeah, mid-range, this is super, super quick. So this is where I hoped it would be able to be. You launch fair enough, but yeah, mid-range, you're not catching me. I thought the exact opposite. I thought launch that, mid-range this. It's a topsy-turvy mixed up world. <laughs> Very good. And you are driving a Smurf. I like driving a Smurf. <laughs> okay, last challenge. We're gonna do a brake test from 100 miles an hour. The car which stops in the shortest distance doth winneth the test off. Now, if you'd rather watch another drag race with some crazy, crazy high performance electric cars, click on the pop out banner up there or the link in the description below. If not, stay here because we're doing the brake test in just a few seconds now. You lost. Not so good with the braking. Very good at the going, the stopping, not so much. Yeah, which is obviously a concern when you've got a car that goes so fast. But I'm still happy-ish for the mid-range stuff. You're taking whatever you can, right? So, yeah, we'll take the rolling races. Forget about the drag and the brake test. Yeah, it's all right. It's a famous saying, my friends, beggars can't be choosers. And while I'm in this £190,000 car, I'm a beggar. Yep. Now, if you would like to get yourself an electric car that's very quick, but nowhere near as expensive as that, I found a great one through CarWow with an offer you'll probably like. If you want to find out what the car is and how much the car costs, click on the pop-out banner up there.
or follow the link in the description below. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some other videos, you just click on those windows there. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to sell your car the easy way. Just upload photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Easy. Thank you for watching.